Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Lightroom. So if you want to see it, just keep on watching. But before we move on, subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any videos that I will upload. And might as well follow me on Instagram. So if you want to see on how to use Lightroom, just keep on watching. So Lightroom is also the best editing app that I use because I also use VSEO Cam and the Instagram app Afterlight. So if you really want to edit the colors of your photos, I think Lightroom is the best app out there because it's free. I made a lot of videos about Lightroom tutorials so if you want to see those videos, I'll just put the card up there or I will link it down below so you can watch the things I've done using Lightroom. So for this video, I'm just going to show you the basics on how to use Lightroom. So I'm going to show you a photo that I will edit and show you the things or the basic things that you can do for this photo or any photos you want to edit. So let's get into the video. First, you need to download your Lightroom. So mine is here. So if you want to import some photos, just click that part, this one. So just select the photo you want to edit. After you imported or select the photo you want to edit, click the photo. So this is the photo we're going to edit. So in the bottom portion of Lightroom, these are the adjustments. So these are the things we're going to tackle. I always use these two icons, the light icon and the color icon. So let's move on to the first step, which is the light. So as you can see in this part, there is exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. You can adjust the light or the shadows for this photo. I'll just decrease the highlights, increase the shadows. Same for the whites and the blacks. And a little bit of contrast. So I think I don't need the exposure. So I think that's good. I think we're done to the light part. And we're going to move on to this color icon. So in this part, you can see the temperature, the tint, vibrance, and the saturation. So basically, as it said, it's the color of the photo. You can adjust for your liking. So for me, I think I will go to the warmer side. So a little bit of warmness and increase the vibrance and decrease the saturation. So this video is not a tutorial on how to achieve that specific theme. So in this video, I'm going to show you the basic things you can use for editing. So, so in this part, this mix part or this icon, this part is very tricky because if you want a certain look like a theme, you can totally manage these icons over here, these rainbow circle things. So with these sliders, you can achieve different kinds of color palette on your themes. So basically, I have a lot of videos about those. You can click the card up there or I will link the things I'm seeing down below so you can check the videos that I made. For this photo, I'll just adjust the yellow part. So the yellow became a very orangey color so I think that's fine with me and I think I will increase the saturation of the yellow yes and for the blue I will make it to the teal side and you can totally adjust it for your liking so you can go to the effects icon and increase the clarity bring up the clarity of the photo that's what I can understand about it so if you bring down the clarity it became a softer looking photo so the details of your face or the details of the photos will disappear so if you bring the clarity up the details of your photo will be more intense so that's the effect of clarity so for the details you can sharpen the photo as you can see this is the before and after before and after we're finally done editing this photo. So these are the basic editing stuff you can do on your photo. So if you want to achieve those themes or the pastel looking theme, I have videos. So just watch them down below. So that's it guys. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. If you want more of my videos, subscribe to this channel and click that notification button so you won't miss any videos that I will upload. And might as well follow me on Instagram. So that's it guys. So see ya.